Greg Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com here with Corey Weber, defensive back for the Wentonwood Warriors, who just defeated Anderson tonight, 27 to 20. And Corey, three years of a starter, and how's this one feel to beat Anderson in your senior year? It's great. We finally we tied up the record. We're down. Heartbreak loss in the playoffs. Proud of me since my sophomore year. So we finally beat him. Got that off my back. We're good. You know, your defense played a lot out there on the field. Uh, they did a nice job. Anderson did uh, ball control. Uh, how tired were you guys getting there in the second half? Oh, we, we weren't really tired. We, we run all week. We prepare. We condition. Our coaches keep us conditioned, so we were pretty good. And your, your first half, you had an interception. Take us through the play. What did you see develop in, in, uh, as the play progressed? Well, tight end. Ran a little drag route. Quarterback had a little pressure. Didn't see me. Jumped under the drag and picked it off. That was your 13th career interception. You're one of the few people in the city of Cincinnati that had that many interceptions. Congratulations on that uh, feat. Uh, now, as your team's going on this season, they've gotten a lot stronger. What do you like about your chances going into the playoffs and repeating as uh, state champions? Yeah, that's, that's our only goal. We, we expect to win state, and I feel like we're going to go back. We're stronger as we could we have been all season going into uh, playoffs. There you go, Corey Weber. Defensive back for the Wenton Woods Warriors, who just defeated Anderson 27 to 20 here at uh, Frederick Field. And this is Greg Shoemaker for TriStateFootball.com and QueenCityHigh.com.